hindsight. 2020. Creating a church culture to never question authority. Several women speak out to Wayne 15 about their time in New Life Church in Warsaw. The church and its former pastor John Lowe made national headlines last month when he told the congregation during a Sunday service that he'd had an affair. The victim then came forward saying she was 16 at the time. It was shocking to some, but in a 15 finds out investigation, several former church members say it came as no surprise to them. They tell us the Warsaw church leaders would often turn a blind eye to bad behavior. Kelly Thompson joined the church when she was 17 and was at New Life's very first service. She grew up with the church and rose to become a women's ministry leader. Thompson says John Lowe's sermons often focused on sex and giving to the church. Some Sundays, she says Lowe asked people to give 90% of their earnings instead of the biblical 10% tithe. If anyone questioned the Lowe's, Thompson says they were made to feel like they were standing in the way of God's will and the Lowe's, Lowe's mission to save souls. Life in that church, we knew that Pastor Lowe was in charge. There was no board, no oversight. Um, when questioned, I remember his response was, um, I have the Holy Spirit, so I don't need any man or I say or woman, but he never would have said that, um, to oversee what I'm doing here. And we accepted it because we are also taught that submission is part of your faith. And um, without a solid faith, not only is your life here in jeopardy, but the afterlife is also in jeopardy. So um, you didn't want to rock the boat. And so very often we didn't rock the boat. So we just accepted a lot of what was said. We accepted the mood swings. We accepted the happy days. We accepted the sad, scary days. Um, because to question it was akin to questioning God. When your family's running the show, you you do what you want. And unfortunately, they've been able to, to do that for 30 some years now. Abby Plummer was 19 when she married the Lowe's middle son. The marriage lasted almost five years. Tonight at six, she shares her story. And Kelly Thompson, the first woman we just heard from, says that same son also abused her daughter. You can read more of her story right now in this digital exclusive only on Wayne.com. We did reach out to the Lowe's several times for a comment, and they did not return our messages.